Hello. Hi. We'd like to talk to you today about cold water plunging and how it's become such an important part of our daily uh, health practice um, and, and what a powerful preventative medicine it is. Do you want to talk about the process? Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about it is the ritual of it. That Patrick will get up earlier than me and light the fire and we'll both put the kettle, put on. The kettle on. We'll wait till the kettle boils, we'll pour the tea and then take our gear off and we started off leave the house. Yeah, so we started off our swimming in Lake Dalesford and now we have our own plunge pool. A neighbour gave us a um, a water tank and we took the top off it, or maybe the bottom. Um, and it's just big enough uh, for both of us to uh, sit in, lie in, recline in. Um, we head outside uh, sometimes in the dark. More, more recently it has been dark, it's, even though it's past winter solstice. And the first 10 or 15 seconds after we get in, um, uh, the more challenging, it's really cold. Um, last week we had to break the ice um, as we got in, which was the, a first for us and very exciting. Um, last year when we went in the lake, uh, we had a slushy, the top of it was kind of slushy, but this is the first time we've actually had to crack through. And we focus on our breath, we accept the cold, accept the pain and the gift of it and rise to the challenge or mm -hmm. recline into the challenge. And we sit there for five minutes or so until one of us says, okay, <laughs> it's time to go. And then we'll get up and before we grab the towel and before we come into the house, um, we do a... Uh, a very primitive form of Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoo, ha, hoo, ha. And it's, I don't know, I love the kind of, I try to mimic your masculine energy and I really, yeah, just love it. And also really pushing really hard with my hands gets the circulation, gets the blood mm. into the end of my fingertips. And at this stage, we're on a real high as mm, well. We are. Um, so having gone through this, the hardest moment of getting in and slowly emerging or submerging, um, the first, as Meg said, the first little bit quite difficult. It's, it's, it's a mental uh, challenge um, as much as a physical one. Um, but then once we're in and as you say, yeah, the acceptance aspect, mm. it, it's starting the day with an acceptance ritual mm. and so to both go into our own process of this is hard, this is cold, this is really phenomenal. Um, it's, it's, but, un, it's unpleasant because we've been brought yeah. up in a culture mm. that doesn't value that. But I think... Seeks it, comfort. It yeah. does seek comfort, mm. you know, at, at the cost of our, our own wildness mm. and the cost of, you know, the earth that we would rather hop in a car and hop in a warm house than, mm. than be out in the elements. Yeah. Having said that, we have a, we know we have a warm fire to return to and a hot pot of tea. Okay. So there is this sort of these extremes. And one of the things that I feel is really important is the D temperature domesticating that's going on. So by building brown fat in our bodies, converting our ordinary fat to brown fat gives us a much greater range uh, a temperature range. So it means that we're not susceptible to colds and flus or susceptible to um, a kind of over to, um, bodily temperature domestication that makes us prone to, um, uh, to diseases. So we've been doing this for four years mm -hmm. and and we started doing it at the end of summer four years ago. Mm. And so we slowly acclimatised as the, as the weather got colder. And I think that was really key for us. And I, the, you know, there are people who do cold showers or cold baths or ice bathing or bathing in the ocean or, what, or whatever body of water that they have access to. But I really like the, the still water. I'm definitely a mountain girl and I do like fresh water, still water. Um, yeah, I find showers really hard, but I know that there are a lot of people who just to start the process 
you know, end each shower they have with 10 seconds or so of cold water and then for a week or so until they feel ready to take it a little bit longer and then they find themselves not having the hot at all and just going straight for the cold. And there is something, it's addictive. It's addictive how we feel afterwards. The high afterwards, yeah. coming out and doing the hoo-ha, hoo-ha and just, you know, just really... Um, it's chi building, I suppose, um, the little ritual we do after getting out. But it, you just, you feel euphoric. Um, and I guess it's that thing of like, without pain, there is no gain. Without extreme uh, challenges, there is no kind of presence. It's sort of, there is a numbing effect in a culture of safety and over domestication and over comfort having to face a challenge as like ice water when the, the morning is still dark is just um extremely good for mental health mm. yeah. and also we'll, so, but we'll call it on the day there are a few times yeah. when i'll just say i'm just not feeling it or i hardly slept or i've got a sore throat and then or yeah. patrick will and then the other yeah. person will just will go by themselves yeah. and yeah hopefully and, and as a result, like, yeah, knowing your body yeah. and if you're, as you said, if you're in a really weak um, state or, yeah, you, you know, you need to know when not to do it. But mm. pretty much we do it every morning. And, and there's something about doing it together too. Mm. I mean, I love to do it by myself. Yeah. I mean, there is, yeah, Patrick did it, you did it by mm. yourself last week. And then I went afterwards, you wanted yeah. to do it by yourself and you hope it's all right. But I say yeah, this, yeah. but you said, yeah, this is doing it by yourself, especially in the dark, is a kind of death work. Yeah. And there is something about doing it solo. It is a completely mm -hmm. different experience, but yeah. it's so it's such a beautiful thing to share yeah. first thing in the morning and to, to go into the cold when you're still warm mm -hmm. from sleep. Mm -hmm. There's something just delicious about it, just the yeah. extremes too. And, and how it is a process that helps meditation it helps focus just on the morning bird calls that are ha that are just starting to to uh, awaken in the neighborhood and the wind coming through and the you know the state of the pear tree that's above us um whether it be whatever season we're in sometimes there's fruit sometimes it's a bear tree and and in, I, in autumn <laughs> time uh, we often do cover the plunge pool just to stop all the leaf the leaves yeah. falling in yeah and there's there are different birds that come you know mm. after daybreak that, that that sit in the tree and mm. just sort of not not watch us but are conscious of us as we are of mm. the bird and sometimes we'll joke that uh the birds are doing the rounds of all the people in their plunge pools <laughs> just checking <laughs> yep <checking. laughs> yep you're good but yeah i i think to you know the gift of a neighbor giving us a little tank that she didn't need and um the yeah, just the, the tools to be able to just chop that off and create a major part of our bodily and mental health mm -hmm. for really not nothing. Mm -hmm. And we recycle the water back into the garden. Mm -hmm. We have rain tanks to catch the water. Yeah. Yeah. I also wanted to talk a, a little bit about the pain aspect of it. And as we all know from a toothache or when we stub our toe or cut ourselves, in the kitchen or anywhere, but just we know what pain does and it, it calls you to be present. And there's something about that pain, especially when it's really, really cold and you you can't think of anything else except your body in this very moment. And there's something mm -hmm. very special about that, yeah. it, that in terms of the, med the meditative aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, the calling to be present. And I think another aspect of that the arthritis that I've had, mm -hmm. mild arthritis, um, but nonetheless um, painful arthritis in my building hands or my former building life um, has caused arthritis. And so the cold water plunging has pretty much eradicated that. I have no, and, and lots of other pains um, uh, and bodily, it's sort of, I, it, it, I mean, realignment is too vague, but it, it, it does something to the whole body that mm. is really quite phenomenal. Mm. So while there's science behind it, our evidence is that none of us in our household, um, particularly us two adults, um, have had a cold or flu for four years since we've been doing it. 
So in many respects, it's as I've said before um, in some of our videos that this has been our vaccine. We are robust to, um, it, it's, a, it's immune boosting, mm -hmm. it's immune develop, developing. And when we are living in air conditioned uh, and temperature controlled environments all the time, we lose some of that wild health that is so integral to um, being well and to uh, preventing disease. And, you know, it's a practice that is done in the Scandinavian countries where it gets really, really co much colder than here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would love to... <laughs> That's more snow. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be minus two on Thursday, morning, I think Wednesday overnight, so I look forward to breaking the ice with you. Yeah. <laughs> Not breaking bread, we're breaking ice. Mm -hmm. um, and before so we also dry ourselves completely before we come into the house yes. and stay outside for at least yeah. another five minutes yeah. yeah and yeah sometimes even just the short walk from the plunge pool back into the house i can't feel my toes especially when there's a frost my just my feet are just ice block and quite painful mm -hmm. so it is good to dry off completely and especially with the hoo-ha hoo-ha getting the um getting your chi and getting your blood going to the extremities because I found that if we come in and I'm still a bit wet and I go too close to the fire, then as the, because um, when you're in the cold water, all of the blood goes to your vital organs and, and when, it, when it returns to your, the rest of your body, it can be very painful. Mm -hmm. I find it re can really ache in, in a sort of chill blains kind of way. So I think to do that part really slowly, yeah. um, yeah. It's definitely and walk nice. for me walking back i never feel cold as soon as well really after that first 10 15 seconds of immersion i don't feel cold i do Sometimes start I hear your cheek no I, your my teeth start <laughs> chattering but i feel like if i really just um accept the water i feel like i could stay there for a long long mm. time but usually five minutes yeah the teeth start chattering and it's time to to just listen to the body to get out and then as soon as we're out and we start sort of doing that chi building blood circulating little whatever it is we do um that that um i yeah I'm immediately warm and then the toweling off as meg said um and then yeah just staying outside sometimes i even go for a walk and check the goats or um just like stay outside as much as possible and come back to a kind of a good temperature but certainly yeah not racing inside and huddling around the fire mm. although um, when we do finally get inside just to be with each other drinking tea and we just sort of do this sort of rotisserie thing yeah. where we, we warm our backs and then we're you know chatting and just checking in and then we're warming our fronts and then we're warming mm. our sides and we're bending down and it's just it's such a nice yeah time together yeah yeah just a very yeah precious time before woody wakes up mm. and the day kind of starts so hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this video and if you do please pass it on to others we um, are going to do more of our uh, medicine, chest. medicine chest our medicine toolkit um, things that we do to keep ourselves well and we'd we, love to hear from you in the comments below what are some of the things that you do in your daily life that has turned um, from exercise uh, to ritual or mm. what are your what are your wellness pra practices mm. and it, while it's a bit of a, a, a tongue-in-cheek uh, that cold water plunging is our vaccine we haven't had COVID uh, for the last three years um, and so we feel like you know alongside our diet and everything else that we do um, but this is like a real, like a, a, a hardcore medicine that we highly recommend. I think that's it. Thanks. Thanks.